The diagram below shows four circuits. The current I sub k in the four circuits is denoted by I sub 1 through I sub 4. Using Kirchhoff's law, write an equation for each circuit and solve for each current. Kirchhoff's law states the sum of the resistance R times the amps I in the counterclockwise direction around a loop equals the sum of the voltage source V in the same direction around the loop. If the volts are in the opposite direction, we will use a negative value for the volts. Notice how in our case, all the currents are flowing in the counterclockwise direction, but some of the volts are not. Let's begin by focusing on circuit one and current I sub one, which again is flowing in the counterclockwise direction, but also notice how at the resistor of one ohm here on the right, current I sub four is flowing in the opposite direction, or this direction here, which is going to affect our equation. And then at the resistance of two ohms, current I sub two is also flowing in the opposite direction, which again will affect our equation for circuit one. So beginning at the resistor of five ohms, we'd have five ohms times I sub one, or five I sub one, plus at the resistor of one ohm, we have plus one times I sub one, or plus I sub one. But then because current I sub four is flowing in the opposite direction, we have minus one times I sub four minus I sub four, and then plus two ohms times I sub one. But the current I sub two is flowing in the opposite direction across this resistor, and therefore we have minus two times I sub two. And now we've completed the circuit, but notice how the volts are flowing in the opposite direction and therefore this is equal to negative 23, not positive 23. So again, when the direction of the current and the volts are in the same direction, we use positive volts. If they're in the opposite direction, we use negative volts. Let's go ahead and simplify this equation by combining like terms. Five I sub one plus I sub one plus two I sub one is eight I sub one. And then we have minus two I sub two and then minus I sub four equals negative 23. Here's a simplified equation for circuit one. And now let's move along to circuit two. I sub two is flowing in the counterclockwise direction, but again, at the resistor of two ohms, I sub one is flowing in the opposite direction here, and at the resistor of four ohms, I sub three is flowing in the opposite direction here. So to begin circuit two, we have two times I sub two, but then again, current I sub one is flowing in the opposite direction, and therefore we have negative two times I sub one, or minus two times I sub one, plus four times I sub two, but again, I sub three is flowing in the opposite direction here, so we have minus four times I sub three, plus two times I sub two equals, because the current is flowing in the same direction as the volts, it's equal to a positive 18. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. We have negative two I sub one, and then two I sub two plus four I sub two plus two I sub two, which gives us plus eight I sub two, and then we have minus four I sub three equals 18. And now we have the simplified equation for circuit two. And now we move on to circuit three. Again, flowing in the clock, again, flowing in the counterclockwise direction, where again, at the resistance of four ohms, current I sub two is flowing in the opposite direction. And at the resistance of six ohms, I sub four is flowing in the opposite direction. Starting at the resistance of four ohms, we have four times I sub three, but then current I sub two is flowing in the opposite direction across the same resistor, which gives us minus four times I sub two. And then we have plus six times I sub three, but then minus six times I sub four. Then we have one times I sub three or plus I sub three plus three times I sub three 
equals the current is flowing in the opposite direction of the volts and therefore it's equal to negative 27 on the right. Let's go ahead and combine like terms on the left. We have negative 4i sub 2 and then 4i sub 3 plus 6i sub 3 plus i sub 3 plus 3i sub 3 which is equal to 14i sub 3 giving us plus 14i sub 3 and then minus 6i sub 4 equals a negative 27. And now let's take a look at circuit 4 flowing in the counterclockwise direction. Notice for this circuit there is no voltage source and therefore the voltage will be zero on the right side of the equation. Also notice how current I sub 1 is flowing in the opposite direction across this resistor and current I sub 3 is flowing in the opposite direction across this resistor of 6 ohms. So let's go ahead and start here with the resistance of 1 ohm. We have 1 times I sub 4, or just I sub 4, but then minus 1 times I sub 1, or minus I sub 1, plus 3 times I sub 4, plus 2 times I sub 4, plus 6 times I sub 4, but then minus 6 times I sub 3, again because I sub 3 is flowing in the opposite direction across this resistor. And this is equal to 0 because there's no voltage source for circuit 4. Simplifying our last equation, we have negative I sub 1 minus 6 I sub 3 then we have I sub 4 plus 3I sub 4 plus 2I sub 4 plus 6I sub 4, which is equal to 12I sub 4, giving us plus 12I sub 4 equals 0. It's definitely worth the extra time to be careful when setting these up, because if we have one value off, of course we're going to get the wrong answer. And now we're going to take the four equations in black, or the simplified equations, by an augmented matrix, and then write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form to solve the system. To save some time, I've already set a lot of this up. At the top here, I have the four simplified equations. Because we have four unknowns and four equations, we have a four by five augmented matrix, where each equation gives us one row in the augmented matrix. So looking at equation one, notice how I sub three is missing, and therefore row one is eight, negative two, 0, negative 1, negative 23. Looking at equation 2, notice how I sub 4 is missing, giving us the row negative 2, 8, negative 4, 0, 18. Looking at our third equation, I sub 1 is missing, which gives us 0, negative 4, 14, negative 6, negative 27. And then from equation 4, I sub 2 is missing, giving us negative 1, 0, negative 6, 12, 0. And now to solve the system, we write the matrix in reduced row echelon form, which I've already done here on the right. Let's go ahead and label the columns of the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form. We have I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3, I sub 4, and the current I is in amps. The fifth column would be amps. The first row indicates that I sub 1 is equal to negative 3 amps. The second row indicates that I sub 2 is equal to 1 fourth of an amp. The third row indicates that I sub 3 is equal to negative 5 halves amps. And row 4 indicates that I sub 4 is equal to negative 3 halves amps. Notice how the only positive current is I sub 2 which means the current I sub 2 is flowing in the counterclockwise direction. And notice that I sub 1, I sub 3, and I sub 4 are all negative, which means the currents are flowing in the opposite direction as indicated in the diagram, or I sub 1, I sub 3, and I sub 4 are flowing in the clockwise direction. I hope you found this helpful.